From the Gardens Casino in Hawaiian Gardens, California, this is Poker Night in America. Hello and welcome to Poker Night in America. Once again, we are at the lovely Gardens Casino in Los Angeles, California. I am Joey Stapes Stapleton and he is Jesse David Abramowitz. Tonight we are playing 2550, but I'm gonna give you a little spoiler. Later on, they gonna bump it up to 50, 100. Don't do that. Things are looking pretty good for Derek Langyar. He's up over $10,000 so far. It's Brian Potashnik, who's played a lot of hands and seen a lot of showdowns. He's down almost 15 grand. Let's head on over to the table. Looks like we got a straddle to kick things off here. Key Lee, one of the most important Lees. He's a Key Lee. Here's our biggest loser, Brian Potashnik. He's raising $200 with 6-3 suited. Now oh, this ought to turn it around. <laughs> you can't spell Potashnik without I shank pot. And now he calls a re-raise from Snyder. He's got ace five. Snyder's been quiet, but paying attention, I believe. First flop of the night. Ace, eight, five, rainbow. 1,500. Unsurprisingly, six, three misses and leads into a bigger monster than the Babadook. He's like, here, would you like this? It's worth noting that that monster is, of course, top and bottom pair. And yes, yes, I do want this. Let's see if Potashnik picks up some equity. Yes, he does. Potashnik at least has a draw now. Twenty-five hundred, the bet. Really, very little for Snyder to be afraid of. This might be one of the easiest hands that Snyder has ever played. All he's gonna do is dodge a four on the river. Not many scare cards either. It's the King of Diamonds, which is one of the least scary rivers ever. This river is less scary than the River of Chocolate from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I thought that river was terrifying. Right, which makes this one less scary. All in. Snyder's gotta give this a think. I don't see how I can fold two pair, I call. Good call. Potashnik might as well have thrown his money into the Potomac. Either way, it's gone by the river. Nice hand. Chips! I wanted to use chips as coasters, <laughs> but it didn't seem applicable. No, this is a... Uh... Not the table you do that with. No, no, it doesn't. It sounds incredibly impractical. But thank you for trying to have a personality. Straddles on, David Baker. Raise it up. Who was it? Was it CC? She just played Max's chips. It is a raise to 375 from Longyar, which is actually, in English, means uh, long hair. Probably my number one favorite memory from that casino. Oh, Brian Potashnik, please. I hope you're rich. That's a lot of chips he grabbed. Thank God. Now he's gonna put them in the pot. And we're gonna see a three bet from Michael Tabrez has finally woken up. Hasn't played many hands tonight. Should get extra credit here. Yeah, but these guys just wanna play. Nope, that's credit. Very cool. Uh-oh, I have a feeling I'm gonna regret my fold now. So tilted. Mm -hmm. Here comes the flop of a lifetime. Jack, five, four, both players miss. Ace, king of spades, still out in front. So Breeze has all of the credit in the world right now, having barely played a hand. Why are you checking? Did Potashnik even flop a draw? This is one of the best flops he's seen today. <laughs> all right, he turns the draw at least. Also, his pairs are live. He doesn't know that, but they are. Ooh, checks again. That's kind of the universal sign for I give up. 2,000. Potashnik. Hey, look at that, buddy. He got it all back. No, no he, not even close. <laughs> he got all of one quarter of his last river bet back. I promise if I have a set and you have a flush, I'll call. I hope you get even as long as we never play another pot together tonight. <laughs> no straddle this hand. Yeah, you know, David is rich. He can afford it. Action on Derek. 
God, man. And 200, staff call. I should probably loosen up my range to like beat you. do seven yeah, plus. It has I'm in. Like beating me. It's, they, no, gave me the, they gave me the buttons. So. Of course. All right, three players, couple of pairs. Three bet it. I didn't want to slow. Potashnik, of course, does not have the best of it, but flops bottom set. Maybe it's going to be a comeback for Potashnik. Okay. Oop, oh. sorry. It's okay, go ahead. You guys are going to wait. I'm like, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> wait, no, I, I should have just kept my money. He, he bet. A little eager there. He couldn't wait to get there before I even bet it. I didn't know you were going. I'm not I said I'm in. He's going to check. Well, no, unless the seven of hearts comes, I'm not betting. OK, I checked. <laughs> Obviously. Go ahead, that's a check. <laughs> that means that's a check. Oh, my oh, Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Seriously? Give me my 100. Who cost me that seven? Who, who was it? You checked on the button, it was you. God. That's hey. funny. Tashnik possibly thinking now it's time to cash in on this flop set. Thank God I checked the turn. <laughs> okay, cool. What a disaster. Now with just a bet and a call in front, I won't fault Snyder if he decides to pump this up. Boom. There it is. Uh-oh. Wow, are you kidding me? He's not, not gonna let him steal it, you crazy? George makes it 5,500 with the nuts. $10,425 so far in the middle. What does Potashnik do with the bottom set? It's an awful spot for Potashnik. It's a fold though, right? God, why did I raise? Snyder in an even tougher spot. Is there any chance that a set of sevens could win here somehow? There's no chance, is there? There's so many ways to have eight, nine, and not so many ways for... There's no way you have a set of sevens, huh? Yeah, oh yeah, there's no way I have a set of sevens. I have my worst possible hand, but like, I have a set of sevens and it was a seven of hearts. Guaranteed a hundred. Guaranteed a hundred. Give him the hundred. Pot odds. Give him the hundred. Give him the hundred. Oh, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. All right, there. Give him the hundred, there you go. You made a hundred. You can't go wrong. You fold the king queen? Three, four, three, four. A set of five. What just happened? Come on. Three, four. I swear you folded God. a set of five and you folded a set of seven? Oh, man, I don't know if we're going to be able to top that last hand. That was absolutely B-A-N-D-A-N-A-S. Bandanas? Yeah, so crazy you need a bandana to keep your head from exploding. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. I still have not recovered from that disgusting cooler. The one I left at your house after the Super Bowl, I said I'd get it on Friday. OK, good, because it's really gross. Don't forget to download our free poker app. Aperitif? Is that what no. it's called? No? No. All right. Wait, bitter drink. I believe you're looking for Strega the Witch. Oh, Potashi called. What a shock. Oh, boy, yet again. Oh, nut straight for George. George has got another straight. Potashnik is about to lose a lot more. Cashnik. Jack on the turn. So two pair now for Potashnik. This Jack certainly is an action killer. George no longer has the nuts. Potashnik no longer has a straight draw. You think this could save Potashnik? I mean, it should. That will, though. <laughs> oh, man. Although he does lose to some straight flushes. Luckily, he's not running that bad. Potashnik now with a full house. Does he even know how to value bet the best hand? It's been so long. George calls. Wow. Potashnik, finally, yeah, those cards are expensive. They have microchips in them. Whoa, look at that. Long Air must have Googled an invisibility potion. Potashnik? His name is very difficult to say. He's involved in like every hand. I'm exhausted. To Breeze, we've heard very little from calls with a six. He just likes being nondescript. Not the script hat, not the script shirt. Story checks out. I'm on tilt. 
What's your excuse, Key? Five players to this flop, which is King nine five two spades. Things are turning around for Potashnik. Because he has two pair, the king and the nine. I see, got it, thank you. Checks around somehow. Very good for Potashnik. Turns the boat. He's got four players drawing dead in a five-way pot. Not bad. Also usually means you're gonna win the minimum. George is bet 400. Action on Potashnik, just be cool. Just be chill, no big deal. Definitely don't have a full house. And the river, the five. The five everyone's waiting for. George, playing the board. He's gonna bet though. $900. Well, it seems to be the max that Potashnik's gonna win from this hand. The waste of time, of value raised to 2,900. Oh, wait a second. Please tell me George tries to make a move here. That would be a good idea against the guy who's never folded. <laughs> and there goes the fold. Can you show the block now? No, oh, good lay down. Nine, full house. Five full and nine full. King nine. King nine is good. What do you like more, straddling for 200 or burning $200 in fireworks? I've never purchased any fireworks. Oh, it's what, what is it, what is it? He asked if I wanted to burn up the 200 on the straddle or on fireworks. Sometimes you have Straddle, 200. Or fireworks. Well, straddle. At least the straddle gives you a shot, right? Yeah, fireworks yeah. is dead beat. And you can yeah. get arrested and go to jail. What's that gonna do for you? Duh. <laughs> There's no equity in the fireworks. It's not my fault, I have a small bladder. With a 200, you get like 70 back. Yeah. Yeah. Folds around to Keeley. Not to mention, you're only playing with betting discs to begin with. The 200 on fireworks, that's money. That's a waste of money. Yeah, this is only betting discs. They say no cash value on them. No, I see it. I have a fistful of them in my pocket. Oh my God in heaven. How much to call? Snap Yee. call. I snap call very slowly. Okay, good, we have a hand. Fives versus fours versus ace, five of diamonds. Seven trade, trade two diamonds. 1,200. I had big plans for this hand. If only this card had come on the flop. That card and that card, and then there's none of them, so I'm gonna fold. Brian Potashnik has got one speed at this table. Ludicrous speed and I'm never gonna see it again. Lee calls. It's an unenforceable gambling debt, so once they rob me, I can never sue them. To the turn. It's a 10. What do you need? I can do anything you want as long as it's up to 45,000. <laughs> unenforceable, right? Plus 150 in my satchel. Only 500. Fantastic. just keeps on trucking. I guess he could bluff fives off of this, but what do fives really have to be afraid of, though? Especially from the guy that never turns up with a hand. I mean, he had a full house on the last one, but he didn't show it. I mean, he would have played it the same way. Right. Nice hand. Man. You robbed him. He bluffed one. Nice hand, nice hand. It's over a 1,000. You got to show one, one card. Top, I'll show you one. Top. No. That's good enough. Wow, Brian Potashnik, three in a row. Don't call it a comeback. It's not. He's still stuck huge. Fair. <laughs> back after this. Welcome back to Poker Night in America, where Brian Potashnik has won the last three hands. Let's see if he's still got it. All right, so for the last poker playing segment of the night, we're going to bump things up to 50 and 100. The price of poker is going up. I lost uh, a lot of money. I, lost I, don't know why you, I don't know why you admit to that. I was bet on black. Uh, over no, 50, 100, huh? The oh. fix was in. <laughs> no, someone taught me that bet. Put that chip It was only 150. Way. I needed yeah, a sweat. Sure it comes back to me. Playing R makes it $250 oh, with pocket threes. Patash he's, I mean, he's just on auto call. He's clicked the box. You should have asked what it was in Vegas. George, <laughs> also in. 
That's, that was my bet. You I didn't. I didn't strong. bet that McGregor could win. I, I actually I, thought it was too because. To be honest, I didn't want to bet that McGregor could win. I wanted to bet that the fight was fixed. Yes. And I lost. Three players to the flop, and George manages to catch top pair. Very good kicker. I really thought it was going to go 12 rounds, and they were going to yeah, fight. Because Mayweather again. obviously wants to make a billion dollars on a rematch. Let me check and see if I have a diamond. Yeah. I don't. Sure. I bet a real amount. And check. I would have bet the winner, but I bet a small amount, so I want to like 600. Have a Too much, Maybe Brian. Stop. Yeah, it's exactly. not even the pot. All right, you got action. You got action. You got action. I seriously player. thought that that fight was going to go the distance and they were going to fight again. That was the only explanation. That was my bet. Well, 10 pairs, both of them. Obviously, George now with top and middle not going to be folding to this second barrel from Potashnik. All the weird MMA Punching things. Punching of the yeah. back of the neck. Yeah, clubbing him on the back, yeah. Uh, I don't know what else to do. Yeah. Uh, me meanwhile, in the third round, McGregor is absolutely dead tired and Gas. Mayweather's ready to go. And, and what was it? Ended in the 10th, right? Ace on the river. George still with the best hand. The flush draw misses. He's just ready to go. Yeah. His him, punch was yeah. very, very oh, big. No. For him, it was like a warm up still in the 10th. That's sad. Because. Oh, it's so sick. It's so sick. Fantastic. now telling a story that he has bet every single street with a queen in his hand. I don't know. He hasn't shown down a lot of winners, but uh, he's been slathering on enough elbow grease to keep the Tin Man in business. So uh, maybe this will finally work. He got fives to fold last time. Can he get two pair to fold this time? Kind of nervous for our whole cards here. Doesn't mean the plant doesn't exist. Let's buy some Bitcoin with it. Ooh. Ah. We've been sitting for six point, hours. Point six zero, hours. Zero, 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 show me a bluff. Bitcoin. Make me happy. Not one mention of cryptocurrency since six hours. That's my show record. me a bluff. That's my record for a poker table. You want to see it? You got to show one hand, remember? Yes, show me a bluff or make me happy. Either one. We shouldn't talk about exactly. No, no one. There you go. Bad juju. Bluff is good. Looks like we're going to squeeze in one last hand. No, I turned it. He turned it. 100%. Turned it. How much do you have to win for me to get my 500 back? <laughs> In which case, I want to immediately go better no, on any. No, oh, no, no. There's no number. I can't. Oh, no number. It's too high. It's too high. I was going to say, if we get there, I want to go better on something. We'll top it. <laughs> we'll just keep going. Here we go again. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Raise it up. 350? Easy call, easy call, easy call. Potashnik calls King Queen. I don't do it. Bad call. There's no bad call. Showing. I snapped my fingers. That's obviously it. And Snyder has got live cards at least six five of hearts. I don't think you've seen my hand then. Yeah, me too. I like it. All right. Well, I flopped it. Ace, jack, seven, two spades. I'll bet small. I promise, I'll bet small. What did I bet pre? 400? I don't remember. 350, probably. 350? It's a little bit more. Langer makes it 375 with his gut shot in queen high. It's an easy board to continue on. <laughs> nice call, nice call, nice call, nice call. All right, if you put a king of clubs, I'll be happy. Brian, are you chasing on me or did you get there? You don't know yet? I don't know. I gotta protect my hand. I love how chatty this poor man's Kid Rock has been. He's a real cowboy, baby. You get there on the river, tell me, okay? I mean, I'm already there. I, it's oh, okay. Yeah. Right. I didn't know that. I thought. Oh, how much did you bet? 650 is the bet. It's an affordable bet. It looks very deformed. I was just protecting my one pair. I know you have an ace. The race is really. Whatever you do, just don't make me unhappy. He doesn't even fold a piece of pizza. He eats it with a knife and fork, this guy. Nice call. Nice call. Thanks, David. 300 is gone and it's never coming back. Don't shortchange me. And the river is a three. I didn't change anything. You added on 10 to exploit the fact that I played every hand to deliberately play poorly. No, I'm done. 3,000. Wow, what a reach. Well, I can promise you that this play would never, ever, ever work if Langer had anything. Correct. I don't think I can ever win this hand now. I have no spades. So you always have spades. All right, you win, you win. It's the Brian show. 
Yes, it is. I mean, I had a hand. King of spades, queen of clubs. You, you just cannot wait to show that one, it looks like. Oh, my god. If I'm Brian Potashing, I am doing anything I can to keep this game going. He is on fire. And if I'm Brian Potashnik, I'm taking all my money and giving it to Jesse Abramowitz. Smart. Welcome back to Poker Night in America here at the Gardens Casino. The, the best, best play in LA. LA. Let's take a look at our final results from the sesh. Sean Snyder and Derek Langyard managed to make a solid profit while Matt Glantz and Michael Tabriz booked manageable losses. Brian Potashnik was our big loser, but he was stuck a lot more, so my guess is he'll take it. Until next time, good night, Joe's. Our babies. Our babies. Good night, our babies. Don't wave. Cute. You guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're going to go on one of those YouTube click holes, try that video next. Or maybe this one. It's really solid. I really do. Play tight and aggressive. I played aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with you didn't even play that aggressive. <laughs> I didn't. I, I checked back every flop, but yeah. I didn't have it. At least I played. Yeah.